Right. Now, so far, it's not really that unusual. This is, after all, only the fourth week of the new legislative session. So the real negotiating is still ahead on this. But today, senators on the Education Committee, where Republicans hold the control, debated how much to increase funding next year for public school students. Senate Study Bill 1081 is amended, passes with 11 senators voting yes and five senators voting no. So here's uh, what all that means. 11 Republicans on this committee voted for a 2% per student increase in funding for the coming year. That would be in line with the yearly increase in funding that Republicans have given since they've been in control of the state house since 2017. Now the five Democrats on this committee say that 2% would not be nearly enough. We have the money, as was evidenced last week by the absolute giveaway of taxpayer dollars to private schools and the absolute disregard this type of bill with this low of an amount shows for public schools, for public school students, for public school teachers, for the entire public school system. Democrats instead want a yearly increase of 4 or 5% for schools. Now here's where the Republican disagreement is at this hour. Senate Republicans, as we just heard, want a 2% increase. House Republicans proposed a 3% increase. So if they'd meet in the middle, they would then end up agreeing on what the governor has proposed, a 2.5% increase. Now for perspective, the national inflation rate right now is about 65 